Hi everyone, welcome back to My Green Closet. Today's video is about the unflattering clothes that I love to wear. Now I've talked before about how I really don't like these rules around what you can and can't wear depending on your body and skin tone. I think they can be useful if you'd like a bit of direction, but too often people won't even try something that they really like because at some point they were told that that's a style that they can't wear. Your style should be about wearing pieces that you love and feel good in, not clothes that a magazine or video told you look good on you. Also, the idea of what is flattering is just about creating the illusion of whatever body type happens to be in at the time. This is why women in the 1700s wore huge hoop skirts, and in the 1920s, women bound their breasts and wore really straight dresses. Personally, I think we should stop wearing clothes just to try to mimic whatever body type is currently being idealized and instead wear the clothes we want and that we feel good in. So I'm going to share some of the clothes I really like wearing, which according to different style rules don't look good on my body type and I shouldn't be wearing them, but I don't care. But before we get into the outfits, first I should break down what my body shape actually is. So my bust and hips are relatively proportional with a smaller waist. I also have very broad square shoulders and I actually carry most of my weight in my thighs. I have what's sometimes referred to as saddlebags. I'm right at the edge of being petite. I'm about 161 centimeters, just over five foot three. But proportionally, I have a longer torso and shorter legs. So according to most of the style rules, I should always be wearing clothes that come in at the waist. I should be avoiding anything that adds bulk at the bust or the hips. I should be trying my best to break up my shoulders. My tops and jackets should be stopping above the hips and I should be avoiding stiff fabrics that add volume. Basically any kind of oversized clothing or anything that adds volume to my body but I should be avoiding narrow pants, instead be wearing pants that balance out my hips a bit more. Also, I should be wearing V-necks and avoiding any kind of wide or boat neck shapes. So this first dress is one of my favorite wardrobe pieces and it is 100% wrong for my body. It's basically shapeless. Now I do belt it sometimes, but the neckline and sleeves don't do anything to break up my broad shoulders. The hem is also at a really bad place if you're shorter. The only thing that this dress gets right is that it covers up my saddlebags. But other than that, this dress is basically totally wrong for my body type and I love it. It's super versatile. I created another video about that. One way I really like wearing this dress is knotted either at the front or to the side, which also goes against all of the rules for my body type because this adds more volume to my hips. It draws attention to the wideness of my thighs. It also cuts off right at the knees, which isn't recommended. And again, no shape at the waist, but I actually really like wearing this style out to events. It's just a big t-shirt, but I think the knot adds an interesting detail and I feel really good in it. This look is my go-to just super easy jeans and a t-shirt look. There's quite a few elements in this that are totally wrong for my body. I'm not at all supposed to wear tight pants because I should be balancing out my wide thighs. I also should only be wearing shorter shirts or tucked in shirts to elongate my shorter legs. Also, it's kind of contradictory because I'm supposed to be hiding my thighs, but I'm also supposed to be elongating my legs and the style rules for those usually just contradict themselves, so I don't bother. Here is another one of my favorite dresses. I've had this dress for ages. Again, it's pretty much shapeless. It is a empire waist, which I'm not at all supposed to wear. Like the t-shirt dress, the hem is not recommended for my body type. The color blocking doesn't create balance for my body, but I love this dress. I wear it all the time. I also like wearing it with this cardigan over top. Again, we have no waist definition. It hits at a really bad place because it's so long, making my torso look longer and my legs look shorter. But I love how drapey this look is and it's a style I really like. Next, we have these pants and this blazer. Again, I should not be wearing tightly fitted pants. And this jacket has no waist definition to it. It's very boxy cut. It ends right at the widest part. 
And I really like it. I think it's fun to be able to play with our body shapes. I like the squareness and angles of this boxy cut. It also has very square shoulders. According to all the style rules, I should be trying to soften and break up my shoulders so that they don't look so square and broad and masculine. But I think this jacket is really fun. It adds a new dimension to my wardrobe that I've really enjoyed playing around with. Then there's my formal dress, which you haven't seen before because it's not part of my capsules. It's strapless. I am not supposed to wear any kind of strapless clothing. I do sometimes wear it belted, but I also like it unbelted. And it has a large print, which I'm not supposed to wear. Finally, there's my thick Icelandic sweater. This is oversized, it is shapeless, it adds a ton of volume to my body. It hits me right at my thighs. I'm again wearing tight pants. I also have them cuffed up, which as somebody who has short legs, I should not be doing. The sweater also has detailing, which goes right across the shoulders. So not at all breaking up my shoulders. If anything, it's drawing a lot of attention to my shoulders. But once again, I love this sweater. It's comfortable, I feel good in it, I love wearing it. It, and I'm really excited for fall and winter so that I can bring it out. I really like oversized silhouettes and playing with shapes and I don't at all care if I look like I'm drowning in my clothes. So those are some of the outfits that according to style rules I shouldn't be wearing, but I really like wearing. Now I do also wear outfits that I guess fit into the style rules and I want to be clear that if you like wearing clothes that are recommended for your body type, that's awesome, but you shouldn't feel like you have to only wear those clothes or that you're not attractive and beautiful in unflattering clothes. It's really about confidence and how you feel. And if someone is wearing an outfit which maybe isn't perfectly suited to their body type, but they love it, that's gonna look so much better than if they were wearing an outfit that was based on all of these rules and recommendations, but they didn't like it and feel comfortable in it. So basically what I'm trying to say is just that if you're hearing these different rules and recommendations about what you should and shouldn't wear, just take them as loose suggestions because they can be helpful to maybe encourage you to try something that you haven't tried before and maybe you really like that style, but don't at all limit yourself from wearing clothes that you really like because you think you shouldn't be wearing them. You deserve to feel confident and beautiful every day and you should dress in whatever clothes make you feel that way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just something that I really, believe in and I feel like too often people I know, clients I've worked with, have seen something that they think is beautiful, that they love, but they won't even try it or consider it because at some point they were told that they can't wear that color or they can't wear that style. So I just think that we should give ourselves permission to wear things that we like and try things on and see how you feel in it because that's the most important. So anyways, I have a video more about personal style. If you're interested in that, I will link it up in the cards. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.